Today we're going to do a rib roast. Probably about four and a half pounds, maybe five. Good marbling. Nice and thick. We'll use a little bit of light coffee rub and some beef bouillon I'm going to inject into it. Okay, I've got the chuck roast all seasoned, put olive oil on it, and then we put the rub, the coffee rub. And now, I have this cast iron pot that I use uh, to keep water in. It uh, gets pretty messy uh, after a smoke. So I'm gonna try, this time I'm gonna try putting some aluminum foil in there, heavy duty that I use uh, to wrap my ribs in there normally. All compact. Now we can fill that with water and when we're done with the smoke we can just lift it out and throw it away. So hopefully it'll work out better. This is the first time I'm doing it. So we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this smoker going. I'm gonna take a fire starter that I made out of sawdust and uh, paraffin wax. Just use uh, halves, I have them. And as that starts to go, for Christmas, my brother got me a Japanese axe and uh, pretty darn sharp. Although I'm not going to cut a tree down for this, I'm going to uh, try it out on some cherry wood that I have that I'm going to use to smoke. Maybe open it up a little bit, kind of feather it. I don't know if use much. My kids uh, don't seem to like a lot of smoke on their food. All right, so we got a feather there. Maybe that'll help a little bit. Anyways, I got to use this for the first time now, so it seems to work pretty good. I like it. All right, just waiting for the coals to come up. Got my water in my pan. Okay, smoker is going pretty good now. Get the coal into embers. Only put one piece in there. Again, trying to keep that smoke kind of light for my family. Okay, so now that the embers are going, we have to uh, put the the under grate and the ceramic stone and the water in there. Um, as it comes up to temperature. If we don't, the ceramic will tend to crack. And it's no good. Okay, just water in this pan. You catch the drippings, but for this one, no flavor to the water. Center. We're using a grill dome today and we are going to get it up to temperature which will be uh, 240, 235 probably actually. Yeah, two, 235 is probably best. Um, and we're going to use a the DigiQ temperature control 
for the monitoring overnight. It's uh, late night. It's going to take probably 10 to 12 hours, depending. So we'll be back when we put the meat on. It's got to get it up to temperature. Here's the clip for the ambient temperature, the alligator clip. And here's the food probe. We're not going to use the food probe right now because we don't have the food on. We're going to take this and we're going to stick it in there to help us tell what the temperature is going to be. Then we're going to Press the pit button, see what the temperature is, it's 41, and it's actually 20, like 20 degrees outside. So we're gonna have to let's see here, take that down to 235. Okay, we're at 235. We're gonna burp it a little bit, there we go. Bring it up. Slide this right off. Oh yeah. Put the meat probe right in the thickest part here. I'm trying to get it to 195. That's our goal. Here's the ambient temperature. Right there, so we know where it is, right at the meat. Right. It's like a Brontosaurus burger right there. Brontosaurus steak roast. Okay. We'll see you in about 10 hours. Okay, thanks for coming back. I'm gonna get the truck roast off the smoker. See what she looks like. Oh yeah, look at that nice crust. All right, get this out first. I'm gonna double wrap it in foil so there's no leak juice all over. Get a little wind. go. Close that so it doesn't flame up. <clears throat> Oops, see, there's it. Just came through, the bone came through. The one layer. So we're gonna turn it. I always kind of flip these up so if it does leak, it's kind of held up. Now I want to show you what happened. It was so cold last night. It was uh, low 20s, low teens, or high teens, low 20s. And when I took the, the fan motor out of the, the mount, the condensation from last night from the water drip pan came out solid ice. So I'm sure that affected some of my time. But anyways, that's never happened to me before. So it must have been super, super cold. To keep this chuck roast warm and to let it rest and get the juices back into the uh, even flow of the meat in, into the center because they're all out on the outsides from being so warm. You wrap it in some blankets of uh, 
towels. <clears throat> got this from the garage so it was kind of chilly so what I did was I boiled some water and put it in there for about 10 or 15 minutes now we're gonna pack and I poured it out of course <clears throat> and then now I'm gonna just pack loosely some more towels in and around it and on top of it that fills up the space to keep the the heat in the meat while well, it cools down a little bit but uh, you want to keep it juicy so you gotta let it rest there's no other way to do it and we'll come visit it in a couple more hours the the smoke was uh, about 12 and a half hours so it was uh, a long time but it's gonna be worth it been resting for three and a half hours. Are pretty good. Just gonna shred it up for a sandwich. Good luck on your smokes. And this is the final product.